Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Duckville here for the After Hours Gaming League Season 3. We're going to be watching a, uh, well, a semi-final here, of course. We are that far into the tournament. Uh, of course, I would like to shout out to everyone who was uh, helped by voting for me in the So You Think You Can Cast competition, uh, where I was able to make it through round one last week with the casting of National Instruments versus Microsoft. And today, we're going to have a look and see how these two teams are going to go. Of course, they have been very strong throughout the competition. Starting at the top right hand side for our red team, it is Storm 8's Shiver. An appropriate name for this map, of course we are on Planet S. His opponent down in the bottom left hand side as our blue Protoss player is going to be Team Amazon Cicero. And of course, uh, you know, we, this is going to be a really interesting matchup, of course. These two guys are, uh, you know, it, it should be really fun to see how PvP goes, of course. Uh, you know, things have been changing a little bit in PvP. And of course, this map will help uh, facilitate a few certain strategies. Of course, you do have the very, very large space across uh, just the, the front section there. It's not as large as some maps, but there are also these uh, back entrances to blink through all these kinds of things. A lot of players have been trying out blink and uh, as, you know, as, as, as it was a very very common strategy at the end of Wings of Liberty, and we'll see if uh, one of them wants to try out something like that. Of course, uh, as, we, as we were saying, hope you enjoyed the cast so far. Of course, uh, this final round in the semi-final is going to be in semi-final number one, is going to be casted by the three remaining casting teams, of course, uh, myself and then the other two folks. You can jump onto AfterHoursGaming.tv and check that out yourself. And uh, once you're done, of course, submit your votes for who you like the most, and uh, hopefully we'll see a winner come out. It's all in good fun. Uh, no, no, you know, no massive prizes for us or anything like that. But I tell you what, the After Hours Gaming League is, uh, is has done a wonderful thing with the prizes for the tournament of the actual winners. It does not go to its uh, to the actual company or anything uh, for themselves, but it actually goes to charity. So wonderful to see that kind of thing. And we'll see how these guys are going to start out. It looks as if Shiver's going to have a quick look through, sees the standard sort of gate and the side. Core here as well. We'll check out the gas as well. Just noticing that there's just the one gas for the moment. A lot of players like to actually pick up that second gas a lot quicker in this matchup now, just to make sure that you do have the ability to throw down, uh, you know, some extra tech, these kinds of things. Shiver himself, meanwhile, has actually picked up two gates straight away, just perhaps fearing some early attacks or perhaps wanting to put on some early attacks of his own. The probe of uh, Cicero is just going to roll up and have a quick look and see what's going on. So, a few differences in uh, what we're seeing from these two players already. Cicero is just going to scout through now and have a quick look at what's going on. Wants to check that second gas, but no, he doesn't actually. Doesn't see the second gas, but, uh, you know, uh, as we were saying, if you can see... You can see one, then, you know, it's generally okay, but I mean, seeing seeing double, uh, seeing exactly what's going on is a lot better, but Shiver is going to throw a little uh, uh, spanner in the works here, just picking up a forge, very interestingly, you don't often see this kind of thing, and has actually uh, thrown down a pylon down at the natural, so I think we're going to see what appears to be a two-gate forge expansion, a very interesting build coming out of the Storm 8 player. Going to try out something a little bit funky. Meanwhile, back at home, Cicero has gone totally old school here for Team Amazon, throwing down three extra gates, bringing him to a total of four. That's the reason why we did not see that extra gas go down, because he is just going to go all old school and pick up a four gate here. We'll have a little bit of a micro battle between these two players. It looks like the Zealot and the Stalker of Cicero are going to have a little bit of a, uh, a tough task on their hands. We do see the three Stalkers from Shiver just coming out now. If he can get this pylon down, then he'll uh, certainly be able to uh, sort of cement himself in this position here of course he does take out the stalker micro's back and he's going to be able to get rid of that zealot as well but the big question is will the cannons be up in time to defend this and another small issue that we've got is that this could be just a very simple sort of run by so what i would really like to see is perhaps another couple of cannons uh, uh sorry some pylons going down to block off this entry here because as we can see the stalkers of cicero are just going to walk their way by it looks like shiver is doing his best to try and block off the ramp to let the cannons get as many shots as they can but unfortunately is not able to and we do have, uh, well, it's just the one Stalker up inside. Now, whoop, almost two, but just the one. And the probes come out to try and defend against this Stalker. Unfortunately, uh, he is not going to be able to catch it for the moment. But Cicero, with a little bit of micro, will be able to uh, take down some of these probes. They're getting very low on their health, some of those ones. But, uh... I doubt he's going to get too many more kills. And now with the cannons up, perhaps Shiva is going to hold his own ground here. We'll have to see. A couple of uh, those Stalkers have now warped in as well to help defend. And it looks like, well, 
we're going to have another probe coming out. So we'll probably see, just given that there is that space there, I would suggest that Cicero just do a quick run by. There's no real need to try and, uh, you know, be pedantic at the front door and try and knock down all of these cannons here. That's a lot to try and deal with, and we'll see how he goes about that. Looks like the three stalkers just coming along, a probe coming along for the ride as well. We'll need to try and uh, just barge its way inside the main base. Probably another warp in will go down for Cicero, and then we'll see him just trying to walk his way up the ramp. But, uh, of course, Shiva, with just the two gates, is not going to be able to get up a massive amount of forces. He's going to be relying on keeping Cicero down here at the bottom of the ramp. Of course, uh, you know, keeping in mind that Cicero has actually lost, uh, sorry, has sort of stopped his pro production to make sure this four gate comes out correctly. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, our Storm 8 player, Shiver, has actually just sort of kept himself a little bit low on the probes, of course, losing a couple and unfortunately not really being able to spend too much on his economy right now. But here we go. Looks like the Zealots are going to be tanking at the front, but no, a couple of Stalkers come to the front as well. Zealots tanking the probe. Look at this hero probe is just going all the way up inside. Does make it and starts the construction of a pylon. Looks like these units won't actually make it all the way up, but in fact two of the Zealots and two of the Stalkers are actually inside now. And with a third Stalker coming about, this could be very, very dangerous for Shiva. I don't think that he's going to be able to save this because the pylon now inside is going to allow warp ins for Cicero here, and I think that is going to be it because with one Stalker and basically nothing else to defend apart from a few probes, Cicero is just going to be able to walk through this base and with a couple of warp ins, Shiva will try Try and save the day, but unfortunately, it is not going to be enough. And he agrees, GG comes out from our Storm A player for game number one. So we do see, uh, we do see Amazon take a one nil lead in game number one. We'll jump into game number two in just a second and see if Storm A can bring one back.